Hey Falcons, this is a short video to talk about your reset button on your Build a Body app. For part of your at-home work this week, it is just to log into MIT App Inventor and either make sure you have the code for your reset button done or make sure that you are creating a reset button and get this code started. I'm going to give you some hints, not the entire code, in this video. So buckle up. Let's make this app reset. Okay, everyone, in order to program the reset button, you first have to make sure that you have a reset button. On my screen, you can see it right down here, the lower left of my screen. That is my apps screen. Um, don't worry if yours is cut off a little bit. When we test it on the phone, you'll see that there's plenty of room for it. If you're not sure where do I get the button, over here on the left. First, you've got to put everything in a layout so it goes where you want it. So grab yourself a horizontal arrangement to put in there. And then inside that horizontal arrangement from the user interface menu, drag in a button. You'll see it appear on the right in your components menu. Once you've got your button, go to your code menu because uh, remember the button has to reset all four of your uh, movable sprites and all four of your placement dots. On the left, you will see that, oh, here, and I named the button so it's easy for me to find. And again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, right here, instead of it's just saying button number one, button number two, click on it and you can rename it and use camel case. I just called mine reset button because that's what it is, a reset button. And then when I'm in my code blocks view, it's easy for me to tell what I'm looking at over here without seeing that picture of my app. So the reset button, I'm gonna click. And what do you think I'm going to use here? See, I've got a lot to choose from. I'm going to want uh, the on click button. Yes, we're not clicking. It's a tap, but it's the same thing. It's, they're using older language for this block. So on reset button, click. When I touch the reset button, there are some things that are going to happen. Now, the question for you is, what is it that's going to happen? On slide 16 of uh, last week's slideshow, there was this list. Think about what needs to happen when you reset the score. So what needs to happen? Well, the sprites, those movable sprites, something has to happen with them. They've all got to go back to their original starting spot. What needs to happen to the score? If you start a game over, where does, what, what happens with the score? Probably resets to zero. We made the placement dots disappear. We need those to be visible again. And if you included a timer in your app, well, that timer is going to need to be reset. If you, for instance, had it count down from 30 seconds, then you're gonna need to reset that timer to 30 seconds. And keep in mind, all of this needs to happen with just one touch of the button. So when we had the score code, we had to put that in all four of the sprites because all four of those sprites were possibilities to earn a point with our score. In this case, it's just the one button that does all of that. So you can imagine, I think right now, that this one event handler this one win reset button click handler is gonna have a bunch of code blocks in it. You're going to have to reset. Now, here's something else for a hint for you. When digestive system touch up, let me open that code block. 
you can see that it is going to move to. These move to blocks made it go somewhere. If I want to reset, I probably want to reset to the original. Here's a question. Can I just copy and paste and reuse these code blocks? I think you know the answer is yes. I can duplicate this one and I can use it in my reset button. If you're gonna copy that for all the other three, make sure you change these menus. Think about where you need to reset the global score to. What do you need to reset it to? Think about your text label. And is it possible to reuse these code blocks with small, if any, changes? We will check and see what you've got in class. Don't be afraid to try some things, and even if they don't work, we can fix it later. It's not a big deal. The point is to think about it and try building your reset button code. I think if you put a little thought behind it, you're gonna come up with some amazing code. That's your job. Build that reset button. We will test it in class this week.